Hey everyone, it is Sir Ant, and I've got an interesting little video for you today. This one is not taking place outside in the wild, wild world of China. It is pouring rain out there. We're talking thunder, lightning, and just rain so hard that it's pouring down the walls like a waterfall. So, what's it got to do for food? I don't really want to go walking outside and find a restaurant. Um, I could cook myself something in the kitchen there, but the wife in her endless worry, after 20 years, she still worries about me so much. She wanted to make my life a little bit easier. And so she bought a gadget. And if you've ever watched any of my videos in the past on this channel or any of the other ones, you'll know that I am a gadget guy. I love gadgets. So she picked up this really interesting gadget. She blames it on me. She says she bought it for my benefit, but I know she saw it and thought it was so damn cool that she had to buy it for herself as well. So I'm gonna introduce you to our automatic cooking machine. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, everybody. This is the cooking machine itself. This is the Supor Cook 3. And basically the way it works is you take off this lid here. Let me just take off the entire lid. And you can see it is a Teflon cooking surface inside. And you set the machine to <laughs> and a ton, a ton of different things. And it will automatically tell you what to put in the machine, when to put it in, and it will cook it, it will stir it, it will do everything for you in four to 10 minutes. It's literally amazing. Go ahead, let's turn it on. Even though it does say open, that's pretty much the only English you're going to see on the machine. It is all in Chinese, of course. It gives you a menu here. You can scroll through the menu items and pick items that way. It is also an NFC, nearby field communication device. So you can set it up on your phone and then you have a menu of hundreds of items that you can cook with this thing. But we're gonna go with the standard menu today. So basically you push the menu item you want, and it's going to, I'm not gonna do it until I'm ready to go. It'll tell you when to put the oil in, when to put the onions in, when to put everything else in, and then it will tell you when it's done. It is truly, truly an amazing little device. Now I'm gonna go prepare my ingredients because it won't do that for me. To do that, I'm gonna to need to hire somebody we call an IE here, which is Auntie. She would do all that for me and clean the dishes, but uh, well, no such luck yet. For now, we'll use the automatic cooking machine. And I'm gonna show you how it all works in just a minute. I'll be back. All right, so here we go. Here is tonight's dinner. We've got the machine behind. We've got peanut oil over here. Then over on this side, we've just got uh, an entire head, a small head, but an entire head of green leaf lettuce. Just purchased it downstairs for about uh, 30 cents. We've got about a third of a very large onion, just sliced up into rings, not like the typical onion rings that you find back home. We have got some pork that the wife was kind enough to marinate and chop for me, so it's ready to go into the machine. And then over here is the secret weapon. I want some noodles tonight instead of rice, but instead of making noodles, I actually bought these from my favorite little shop downstairs, my little restaurant. I've done a video about them as well, my Changfen restaurant. Very, very nice people. They're very kind to me. I love to go visit them. So basically the way it's going to work is first I'm going to put in a little bit of oil and the machine is going to preheat. Once it heats up to the correct point, which will only take seconds, I throw in my onions and my pork. I'm going to let those cook for a couple minutes at which point when there's about a minute to a minute and a half left, I will throw in the noodles and the lettuce because they don't need cooking per se. They just need to be heated up. You don't want to overcook your lettuce. And yes, people in China, we do not eat salads the way that people traditionally do back home. All of the lettuce we eat is cooked. So let's get cooking and I'll show you how this bad boy works. First off, let me see if I can see. All right. All right, so I've turned the little wheel and now the stir-fried meat option is available. 
So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take off the lid and I am going to push the start button. As you can see inside, it's in the preheating phase, so it's not actually doing anything yet. So this entire process should take technically five minutes and 40 seconds because we're cooking meat. If we were cooking vegetables or a dish that didn't require as much cooking, most of the dishes do take about four minutes. Oh yes, I can feel the heat inside. I also know it's not the cooking phase because I don't hear the little paddle going around inside. Oh, definitely getting warm in there. So I'm going to prepare my oil. Okay, so it said add some oil, which I did. And then add meat, which I'm going to do now. You can hear that it's already hot, and I'm going to add my onions. I'm going to put my lid on. Not sure if you'll be able to see that through there. But it is stirring. Oh, I can already smell the onions cooking. So as you can see, that's going to continue for another five minutes. Now it's telling me to add vegetables. Now, like I said, the vegetables that I'm going to be cooking are lettuce, so they do not require a lot of cooking. So I'm just going to leave that for the onions and the pork right now, and it smells delicious. You can really hear it cooking in there. And every time you hear that, that sound, that is the machine stirring the ingredients. Alright, so while this has been cooking, without me needing to sit here and stir, mix everything together, and basically take care of a frying pan like I normally would, I was able to run into the kitchen and do some of the cleanup. Now, we're getting about to the minute and a half point, so now I'm going to take our delicious, delicious noodles and chuck those in after the next stir. There we go. Just as easy as that. The stir is getting a little more aggressive. Next is the lettuce. So we've got a minute left with all of our ingredients inside. And let's see what it looks like when it's done. While it's finishing off, I am going to go and take these dishes to the kitchen. That's it. Dinner is prepared. I'm gonna just let everything settle down for a minute here before I open it up, just so I don't get uh, the steam and the hot spray. And we'll take a look at what I have created. All right, guys, I think that is enough. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Push this button here, and it actually allows me to take the entire top off. Let me show you what we've got inside here. You can see this is the stirring arm. We've got our cooked pork, our noodles, our lettuce, our onions, all mixed up in there. Let's see if I can fire these into my bowl here relatively easily. I don't know if it'll all fit in the bowl, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Now here, we push the orange button on the side here. If we look back over here, this is a big orange button on top. Press that and it releases the device itself. So then we've got this. Now, depending on the dish, you might want to use the 
scoop here to scoop it out this way, but I'm gonna do this. No escaping. Fit one bowl. By golly, it is. So there we go. As far as dishes, I've got this piece and this piece to clean, and my bowl. And look at this perfectly fried pork. We've got the cooked onion rings in here. We've got the nice, tender, cooked pork. I'm sure the wife marinated with baking powder, so it'll be very tender got the noodles and this is a giant portion of noodles I'm probably not going to be able to eat all of this but by gum I'm gonna give it a try so there you go there is the Supor cook 3 automatic cooking machine in five minutes it took basic ingredients combined them together cooked them mixed them and now I have dinner Woo!